Welcome back YouTube. Welcome back community. We are going to let you guys fly through a little tour of the latest and the greatest here at Collecticon Studios of some of our modular, absolutely devastatingly beautiful, just rocky outcropping formations here. These modular bases that are just brilliant in their design and their durability. So we'll let you guys take the tour and then we'll talk about each piece individually. And there you have it guys. Just a real quick little tour of all these pieces. Now let's talk about what makes each one of them absolutely amazing, magnificent, and all of those good things. And let's talk about why you should buy these particular types of pieces from Collecticon Studios. All right, first things first, let's move some of our nice little models out of here. Thanks guys, you've all been helpful. Um, and let's just talk about the pieces themselves. All right, first and foremost, guys, mods. This is the thing that we are uh, most famous for here at Collecticon Studios. Our ability to conceal our bases as such and create a multitude of environments just by using uh, a simple number of pieces. Like, let's say, for instance, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces here, and we can create hundreds of different environments. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run you guys through real quick an example of how we can do that in real time. So. And then what you would do for all the gaps, guys, is you would fill those with shrubbery, rocks, or anything that you want to, to conceal your seam lines. But we'll run through another example. I'll just be moving pieces out and you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about here.
And that's all we do around here, guys. When we film a lot of our contest videos and, you know, things of that nature, we just kind of move around some of our mods and place them in a way to where we create our different environments and then we fill the gaps. So there you have it, little Collecticon secret there. Um, real quick, let's talk about the one of the highlight pieces that makes this set absolutely amazing. I think I showed you guys this piece briefly in the beginning of the video. This is Dalen 757, one of his favorite pieces around here. The abandoned shack. That frost giant on the side there. This thing is beautifully hand painted, guys. As a matter of fact, all of our pieces are hand painted. Uh, we went back to that uh, because you get an overall end result, you know, and just a really just piece that just pops out at you and just goes, wow, you know. So there we go. Just gonna show you guys some of the different elements that makes this piece so cool. Not gonna talk your head off. Let's go to the back. Let's see what we got here. More of the moss on the roof there. Just a little subtle moss there in the window sill and on the ledge. It's got the nice texture on the walls there. Then, you know, like I said, there's a lot of detail here. The the raised wooden floor that you can go underneath. Thought that was a neat little addition there. A little crawl space underneath. Then we have some of the moss in the corners and the boarded windows there. Um, I really like the way that this roof is fashioned because it looks like over time they try to repair like some leaks and damaged areas just in a very makeshift primitive manner. So that came out real nice. And then inside of the loft, as you can see, there's a lot of dirt and grime and old wooden planks that are just kind of tossed up there as well as some moss growing out there. So a really, really cool, neat piece, guys. Nice centerpiece for this overall set design there, back up off of it. And then, like, like I said, you use that as a centerpiece and then you can create just a kind of a makeshift environment using the Collecticon mods there so look we are, we're in real time creating another set that is this almost like ready to film guys for contests and everything look at that there's a dead on shot there amazing I have just created an award winning contest winning display within a moment's notice using Collecticon Studios pieces We've won a lot of contests in, in just this fashion, guys, just by moving some things around and creating our own environments. You get hundreds and hundreds of environments with our sets. So it's something to look into, definitely. Now, curiosity, let's talk price. We never normally talk price on the air. Someone said that we needed to do that. We are gonna do that real quick. For a set of eight pieces, so what do you get? You get a centerpiece like such it could be a shack it could be a tower it could be whatever you want but you get a centerpiece that's your big piece and then you get uh, seven other you know medium sized mods or mini mods whatever you know you can mix and match them you just tell us how many you want of each they can be any motif you want desert winter this that and the other um, as far as urban and cityscapes go we do those a whole in, a, in another uh, method so you guys will have to talk to us offline about that but if you want anything natural this type of set guys will run you $200 shipped for all of those pieces and it's absolutely amazing if you act now hell we'll even throw in a background of your choice with it so but you don't get a board the boards that'll cost more I mean if you want one that'll cost more but the boards are gonna cost you more but you can just throw down a piece of green uh, turfing material or a gray sheet or whatever you want any type of mat a board that you spray paint it whatever the case may be and and blend these things in perfectly so there you are guys i'm out of here until next time keep collecting start painting 
and do some articulated comic book art and check out these sets.